Hello everybody, recently I was asked if I could show off how to use page rules to redirect a one link of your custom domain to a different URL. So today we're going to check that out using Cloudflare. Let's get started. All right, so let's get started here. First thing you're going to need is you're going to need, this is going to be a tutorial on Cloudflare. So make sure you have Cloudflare. Make sure your domain has been pushed to Cloudflare so it's all pointing there with your uh, C name records and everything. And make sure all of uh, that is set up already. And this is going to go from the point where you have stuff on there and you're going to put it somewhere else. So here's how what we're going to do. We're going to open up the DNS tab here at the top. Some parts of this is going to be blurred for you just because... They are still private uh, things here, and I, they're going to be hidden, pretty much. But, so you can see, I have some uh, entries here, and what you need to do is you need to make sure you have one entry here. Doesn't matter what it is, all it matters is it's like an A name or a C name or something, and make sure this is proxied. So you can see if I click it, it will turn off proxy. Click it once, it will turn on proxy. You need one orange cloud proxy here. Otherwise, this will not work. So make sure you have one orange cloud proxied. That's all you need. Then you can go up to the top and click paged rules. On the page rules tab, you can see I have two already created. I have one where I redirect my whole domain to this permanent one. So in this case, I'm going to turn that off. By default, you will have nothing here. The free plan on Cloudflare allows you to have three page rules. That's it. So you can only do this three times on Cloudflare, which in my opinion is not that good and I wish they would add more but you can add up to 95 every page rule is a dollar per month so if you know 95 page rules you can do 95 page rules though I don't think that would be worth the money in my opinion so to create one all you have to do is click create page rule you're gonna type in what you want so if you want it to be just sharknado or you want to type your domain name in my case it's sharknado.net don't ask me how I got this domain name they left it open on the internet I was like I'm buying sharknado.net so I'm doing sharknado.net slash, like, let's say, Discord or something. And then you're going to select the, um, you're going to scroll down and press forwarding URL, and you're going to switch it to a permanent redirect, and you're going to enter the URL for your destination. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and invite them to our Discord chat here. Um, so I'm going to go up to the announcements tab, and I'm going to create a invite, and I'm going to make the invite unlimited so it never goes out, and it can have no limit of users. Generate a new link, press copy or whatever, and paste it in your destination URL. Now, if you wanted to send this somewhere else, you are welcome to do that as well. You can put whatever URL you want this domain right here to go to right here. And then I can press save and deploy. And there we go. Now, if I go to sharknado.net slash um, discord, it's going to redirect me to that discord invite right there. Pretty cool, right? It's that easy to do. Now, if I want to go ahead and turn that off, or I can delete that, and I can show you another example. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and do the asterisk sign, sharknado.net slash asterisk, which will redirect every single one of any type of domain. So if you type, like, status.sharknado or uh, sharknado.net slash discord, it will always redirect it to whatever you have down here. In my case, it's sharkymc. So if I do that and turn it on, if I go to sharknado.net, it will redirect me. Um, in a moment, it will redirect me to the correct place. Since I turned it off, it may take a second to refresh in Cloudflare. But in a, in a moment, it will redirect to the correct place. So I'm going to let that be itself for a few minutes, and I'll be right back. All right, so I waited about five minutes, and it's gone ahead and reloaded now. So if I go to sharknado.net, it will now redirect to my, my, my Minecraft server's website, sharkymc.net. So you have all this set up. It all automatically works pretty much five, max five minutes of waiting between setting this up, and it will work perfectly fine. Hopefully this helped you. If you have questions, make sure to leave them in the comments, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.